Now we will add finishing rounds to the neckline and we will be working on the right side of the fabric where we place that marker. We will start at the base of the neck where we have the beginning tail attached. That is where we will start and then we will work along the edge and the opening of the neck to finish it with some ribbing. So slip stitch to the base where we have the beginning tail. Now slip stitch to the point where you have the beginning tail. Slip stitch right under it. And chain two. That will count as our first front post, back post half double crochet. Now into the next half double crochet stitch right there. Work a front post half double crochet stitch. To work a front post half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook through the gap before the stitch, bring it up through the gap after the stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the three loops on your hook to complete your front post half double crochet. So it is just like working a double crochet but in place of the double crochet you will work a half double crochet. Now into the next stitch work a back post half double crochet. For that yarn over, insert your hook from the back to the front through the hole before the stitch and bring it back through the hole after the stitch. Fold your work like that and hold it and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all the three loops on your hook to complete your back post half double crochet. I'll show that one more time. Work a front post half double crochet in the next for that yarn over, go through the gap before it, bring it up to the next gap, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the three loops on your hook to complete your front post half double crochet. Work a back post half double crochet in the next. You can always pull up, uh, you can always pull apart your work and see the gaps. Now yarn over for the back post, yarn over. Bring the hook from the back to the front through the first gap, back again through the next gap, hold your work like that, fold it and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the three loops to complete your back post half double crochet. Now keep working a front post in the next and a back post in the next all the way around until you reach near the beginning chain two. I have now reached back near the beginning chain two and my last stitch should be a front post double crochet. You see one extra stitch here but the chain two stands for that so I won't work into that. I will directly work a slip stitch into the beginning chain two. So I ended with a front post and I'm going to slip stitch into the beginning chain two which will stand for the back post half double crochet. Now to work the next round, do not turn your work, keep working on the right side of your fabric, chain two, that counts as our back post half double crochet, work a front post in the next front post half double crochet and a back post in the next back post half double crochet, a front post in the next front post, a back post in the next back post and so on all the way to the end of the round. So we're going to work a front post half double crochet in the next front post half double crochet, a back post half double crochet in the next back post half double crochet, a front post in the next front post, a back post in the next back post, a front post in the next front post, A back post in the next back post and so on. So go ahead and work a front post in a front post and a back post in a back post all the way around. I'm almost at the end of my round and I have a few more stitches to work into. So a front post, a back post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet 
and a front post half double crochet into the very last front post half double crochet and slip stitch to beginning chain 2 to end the round so that completes the border around the neck you can fasten off right there so that is how you finish the neck with a ribbing Now if you don't want a hood, your poncho is now ready to wear. But if you want to add a hood, follow along and I'll be showing you how to add the hood next. Now let's see how we can add an optional hood to the poncho. You can leave it as a v-neck if you like or add the hood. To make the hood, you have to mark 24 stitches here, skip 24 stitches here and place markers in the next. For that. Let's fold the neck, this is the front, let's fold it at the base here, like that, and from this point count 12 stitches to this side and 12 stitches to this side and place markers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And after you count 12, skip those and place a marker in the next, the 13th one on one side and repeat on the other side as well. Count 12 and place a marker in the next one. And when you open, you should have 24 stitches skipped in the middle and your markers should be symmetric on either side. If not, adjust a little and count again. This is where we will start our hood from. So we will work our hood back and forth between these two markers. So let's begin. Now to begin making our hood, we will slip stitch to the mark stitch on the left. We can take that marker out slip stitch into that mark stitch chain 2 that will count as our first double crochet stitch skip the next stitch and work two double crochet into the next skip one work two double crochet into the next chain one, work two double crochet into the next stitch, we are working just like our first round of the poncho but this time we will be working in rows and not in rounds. Now skip the next three stitches one two three and work two double crochet into the next sorry one two three work two double crochet into the next chain one two double crochet into the next stitch skip the next three stitches work two double crochet into the next chain one work two double crochet into the next skip the next three stitches one two and three and work two double crochet into the next chain one work two double crochet into the next stitch now keep repeating this until you have just one stitch before the marker on the other side that is skip three stitches and into the next stitch you will work Two double crochet 
chain one and into the next you'll work two double crochet then you you will skip three stitches again work two double crochet chain one and two double crochet in to the next stitch so go ahead and keep working all the way around until you have just one stitch left before the mark stitch right here on the other side and i'll come back and show you how to end the round now i have just one stitch left before the mark stitch so I will take that marker out, skip that stitch and work one double crochet into the marked stitch to complete row one of the hood. Now to begin row two, chain three, that will count as our first double crochet. Turn your work. Skip the next double crochet of the first repeat and work a front post double crochet into the next. A V stitch into the next chain one space. That's double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. A front post double crochet into the next stitch. This is just like we worked our poncho, the body of the poncho. Now skip the next two double crochet, this one and this one and work a front post double crochet in the next. A V-stitch in the next chain one space. That is a double crochet, a chain one and a double crochet. A front post double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next two and work a front post double crochet in the next, a V stitch in the chain one space and a front post double crochet. Keep repeating like that all the way until you reach here and you have just this one stitch and the beginning chain left. Skip the next two stitches front post double crochet into the next B stitch into the chain one space that is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet front post double crochet into the next stitch skip the next two front post double crochet into the next we stitch into the chain one space that is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet front post double crochet into the next skip the next two and front post double crochet keep on repeating that all the way until you have a double crochet and the beginning chain left on the other end Now I'm going to work on my last repeat. I will skip the next two stitches, work a front post double crochet into the next, a V stitch into the next chain one space. A front post double crochet into the next. So now I have just one double crochet and the beginning chain left and on top of the beginning chain I will work a double crochet and while working that I'm going to insert my hook into the chain the second chain from the bottom and not the third chain because that gives a straighter edge so work a double crochet into the second chain and that completes row two and row three and every other row will be a repeat of this row that is you will start with a beginning chain three that counts as a double crochet you will turn your work and skip the first the next double crochet work a front post into the next a front post double crochet into the next a V stitch into the chain one space
again a front post double crochet into the next and then you will continue like that skipping you will skip two stitches work a front post double crochet a V stitch into the chain one space a front post double crochet skip two you will continue like that just like you worked row two and at the end you will work a double crochet on top of beginning chain two so you will keep repeating this row back and forth until the hood is the height you like and I'll come back and show you how tall I made mine and how I'm going to seam the top of the hood now once the hood is around 14 inches tall from the very first row of the hood we will work a single crochet row on top before we seam the hood shut and while working the single crochet row we will be adding decreases because the side tends to widen out because of the nature of the pattern so we're going to add a, a few decreases along the way so let's begin the single crochet row chain one one single crochet in the next stitch now work a single crochet two together in the stitch before and after the chain one space so insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop skip the chain one pull up a loop in the stitch right after that yarn over and pull through all the three to complete your single crochet two together now work a single crochet in the next two stitches work a single crochet decrease across the stitch before and after the chain one so pull up a loop in the first stitch before the chain one space skip the chain one space pull up a loop in the stitch right after it and yarn over and pull through all the three loops on your hook to complete your single crochet two together now work a single crochet in the next two stitches this one has already been worked into so don't get confused these are the next two so work a single crochet into the next two so this is how we will continue single crochet in the next two and then a single crochet two together in the stitch right before and after the chain one space single crochet two together now a single crochet in the next two stitches one in each Now single crochet two together across these two stitches. Now keep repeating that all the way to the end until you have just one double crochet and the beginning chain left. Now I have just one double crochet and the beginning chain left. So I will work a single crochet into each of those. While working into the beginning chain, I'll be inserting my hook into the second chain from the bottom. So that completes this row. And now we're going to seam the top shut with a slip stitch seam. For that, fold your hood with the wrong side out. We want our seam to be hidden inside the hood and now slip stitch these two layers together all the way to that corner insert your hook through this side grab that loop from the other side pull it through and start slip stitching going through two stitches one on each layer Slip stitch all the way until you have seen the whole hood shut. Now 
Now the last step is to add a round of single crochet around the hood to clean up the edges. For that start anywhere on the side of the hood with a slip stitch, one single crochet in the same point and then distribute single crochet stitches all around. Distribute as evenly as possible. I'm working one into each of the spaces and one on the side of each of these bars running horizontally. This is an optional step. You can avoid it if you want, but I like the edges clean. So I'll just add this round. When you reach the front, work into each of those stitches, one single crochet each. And go ahead and work a single crochet all around the hood and when you come back, slip stitch to the first stitch to complete this round. I have now reached back near where I started so I'll end with a slip stitch in the very first single crochet and fasten off. So that completes my hood and now we will go ahead and weave in the tails.